Well, it is an election year, and the presidential candidates, each in their own way, are promising to create jobs. But just as all politics is local, so is most job creation. And today, CNBC is out with the 10th annual list of America's top states for business, the states with the most power to attract companies and create jobs. Scott Cohn reports from the state that tops the list, and it climbed the ranks by living up to its nickname. They call Utah the beehive state because the people here work so hard. So when the nation was plunging to the depths of the Great Recession in 2008, Utah's tech community in and around Salt Lake City branded itself Silicon Slopes and set out to attract investment. It worked well enough that Governor Gary Herbert, starting his first full term in 2012, was able to make an audacious pledge. My goal is to accelerate private sector job creation of 100,000 jobs in 1,000 days. It had taken seven years to create the last 100,000 jobs. But by the time Herbert's 1,000 days had passed in October 2014, the state had not only added those 100,000 jobs, it tacked on nearly 10,000 beyond that. Job growth is still among the strongest in the country, helping Utah rank third in the economy category. Governor Herbert's Democratic challenger this year, health care CEO Mike Weinholz, says too many of the jobs pay minimum wage. Governor Herbert likes to tout the number of jobs that we have, but we don't have enough high-paying jobs that pay, uh, pay a living wage. For businesses, though, even Utah's weaknesses aren't very weak. The state finishes in the top half or better in all 10 top states for business categories. That's a first in 10 years ranking the states. Average wages are low compared to the rest of the country, but that's attractive to cost-conscious companies, helping Utah finish a respectable 19th for cost of doing business. It finishes 24th for access to capital. Venture capital is flowing to the tech companies, but small business lending is on the low side. Utah even managed to improve to 23rd place for education, normally a big weak spot thanks to a big increase in funding. But Governor Herbert admits there's some work to do. Certainly education is one we need to continue to keep the pedal to the metal. And uh, the fact of the matter is we have a large growing student population. We have a higher birth rate than the national average. We have larger family sizes. So we have some uniqueness there. But we are trying to become the best education system in America. Utah's motto is about as succinct as it can be. One word, industry. New industries are powering this state to higher heights, thanks to industrious people who came up with a plan when times were bleak, stuck to it, and won. Scott Cohn, Nightly Business Report, Syracuse, Utah.